Well, I'm Keith Pavelcheck, a senior fellow at the Ethics and Public Policy Center here in Washington. Okay, and why did you sign the Manhattan Declaration? Um, I think it was a very uh, timely, and it was a pro it, it, it addressed, I think, what are some of the most crucial issues uh, in our in our public life, uh, particularly for uh, the, the entire issue of religion and public life. But not just simply religion and extraordinarily, I think it has implications for the entire culture. Uh, these aren't all the issues that I think Christians need to be concerned about, but I think they're the um, they're, they're issues at the fault line of how, uh, of how our culture is going to be uh, formed over the next generation, mm. at least. How do you respond to people who say that we shouldn't involve ourselves in politics if we're going to be true believers? Um, I, 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 I find that a very um, uh, cramped understanding of what Christian responsibility is. Um, that uh, you may not be interested in politics, but politics is going to be interested in you. And I think one of the uh, important... Uh, I, I think, first of all, Christians need to take a step back if they think that they can be responsible Christians without addressing in some manner in which uh, 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 we, or, we organize our culture uh, politically and, and the way in which Christians are normatively uh, expected to, to behave uh, as citizens. So, for instance, um, uh, the, the question of, um, uh, of marriage, particularly the rise of the, of the, of the push for same-sex marriage, is intimately related to religious liberty, um, and y y this isn't this isn't just a a, a position that's rec this isn't a problem that's just simply recognized by those of us who believe in traditional marriage. The advocates of gay marriage uh, mm. are some of the best people to go to, the honest ones, who see a real clash, a real clash with with. Uh, uh, um, traditional notions of religious liberty. There's no way that that we're going to avoid these problems. Uh, I think a, a very helpful way to look at it is the advocates of gay marriage op repeatedly draw an, a, a, an analogy to the civil rights movement with blacks. Uh, uh, the, 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 the struggle for civil rights to be not discriminated against on, the, on account of skin pigmentation or, or your race. And they draw the analogy to, to gay marriage. Well, we, uh, we have chosen politically and as a culture uh, not to recognize and to, and to deny all kind of public benefits to people who discriminate on, on account of race. So it's very easy to carry the argument forward that if you accept the premise that denying someone the right to marry a person of the same gender. If you accept the notion that that's as morally as reprehensible as denying uh, black people similar uh, uh, rights, then then we just simply cannot treat these these um, religious organizations who discriminate on uh, uh, against uh, gender mm. on the same terms. So. And so and so you will be placed at a disadvantage, which is why all these issues are, are, are coming up in terms of Catholic charities being denied, which are being right. denied, uh, uh, or Catholic charities deciding rather than violate their conscience and pla placing adoptive children into, into same-sex same -sex homes, homes, they decide yeah. that we're, we're not going to take, them, we're not gonna take the, the, the kind of support in order to run our activities, but we'll withdraw from that altogether. And the state says, "Well, we don't. We wouldn't fund somebody who, who would deny uh, uh, placing people because of their race." And so, and, and and so, and so, we're having a clash between a claim to religious liberty to pursue your 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 religiously based moral claims right, mm -hmm. that marriage is between 
a man and a woman exclu exclusively, and it can't be something else, with with an alternative claim that marriage is 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 uh, an institution that in which gender shouldn't shouldn't play a role. Mm. Those are that's a clash, and there is no way that Christians are going to be avoid or are going to be able to avoid uh, the implications uh, of, of that clash. And I I just simply don't see how uh, if the if the movement for same sex marriage continues along the same way, um, how how um, the implications that we've seen already are not going to grow much larger, and Christian institutions, not just churches, but other Christian institutions will be marginalized. Mm. Uh, there are people out there who have not actually read it, but are reading stories about it and saying that people who have signed it are forcing their values on the rest of the culture. What do you say to them? Um, well, I would say, first of all, I mean, I... I I tend not to listen to people who tell me that they haven't read a document. I mean, it's just kind of, I mean, that's kind of foolish. Um, and and um, what's sauce for the, on the second part of the question, what's sauce for the goose is sauce for the gander. If somebody is, some, it, 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 you know, I'm, I'm almost to say, well, who's forcing what on, on who? It, it, either, either we're going to have uh, the legalization of same-sex marriage, which is going to be an imposition on people who believe that same-sex marriage, there's no such a thing, who, who deny the claim that you can have a marriage between two people of the same sexes. That's an imposition on one view. On the other hand, yeah, I'll, I'll acknowledge the fact that my belief that marriage is between a man and a woman is an imposition on people who believe that it is either between, it can be between um, uh, 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 Two people of the same gender, or between uh, um, multiple num num number of, m number of people. It's it's not a question of who's it. Law will impose somebody's view on somebody who dis disagrees with it. That's yeah. the nature of law. Yes, as you said, it's the nature of law, and a lot of people out there who say that well, live and let live, don't realize that law is going to make the imposition and and create a crime. Out it of binds. Somebody. Law binds. 